10 creative ways to use Dali number 2 for this side. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you what you can do with Dali number 2. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you like 10 different things that you can do into Dali number 2. And later on, you can just get started with Dali number 2 and do whatever you want to do because you can do almost anything. If you don't know what Dali number 2 is exactly, it's an amazing place where you can have realistic images and art based on your description that you asked for the actual openai.com. In order to get started, what you want to do is to go into the option that says sign up, choose an email, provide a passcode and verify that and then you're actually good to go. If you ask for something that we just did before into another tutorial, for example, I asked for a 3D render of a cheeseburger in a yellow background, the application gave me this. Something really, really simple and something really, really amazing that I can use for a day side. Now, how can we get started? How can we get used to this? Which is, I believe, the most accurate uh, here into Dali number two is to create some icons or something related for applications. So, for example, speaking about the same cheese worker that was generated for me, I can use this image to later on use it in an application. I can download this image and let's say that I want to use something else. And if I am creating or designing an application, I can upload my file. For example, here, I'm going to be using the same burger that we just created with the Dali number two. I'm going to import that here and I'm going to delete, of course, the actual background so I can use that later into my apps of my phone. So if you are a designer, go into a check mark because I believe that this one is a really strong and helpful thing to start with some art. Option number two is for music artwork. So, uh, speaking about that, Dali number two can do almost anything. If I ask, for example, let's say an anime girl with headphones in the style of a music artwork, and I hit it to generate, what Dali number two is going to be helping me is to track my very first original, authentic, and no copyright artwork. If you are just getting started with the music industry and you're an independent artist and you don't know how to get started with the artwork design and all that. And the most amazing part of this chance is, let's say that you are not so like convinced with your tool, you can go into variations and the computer can give you more variations of the same images that was generated only for you. Option number three is to actually use for social media. Now, the social media is an amazing place to actually provide whatever information that you want to do. And here's Dali number two, what you can do is to provide the most accurate images for yourself. So let's say, for example, that instead of choosing this uh, music artwork, I want to choose this one and I want to go into download. So if I want to generate some social media content using the image that was generated for Dali number two, I just need to implement this into my designer, for example, Canva. I'm going to hit into the upload hit into upload files I'm gonna choose this one and later on I just can start to design whatever I wanted to using the image that was generated for me uh, the most amazing part of this is that this is a design that was created for and by me and if that weren't enough you can be using this designs to start generating so more content for more than just one place for example into pinterest into snapchat or into instagram or into tiktok where you can actually start to monetize your your design option number four is to expand your ideas let me explain this if you're generating something into daily number two or if you're convinced that you want to use in a specific image or a drawing that you just saw into the internet and you and you have codes to rights to stop working with it what you can do into daily number two is to make some generation frames outside the image that was already been created so for this particular scenario i asked the daily number two to create an impressionist painting on new york in autumn with red sunset so what i have here for example this image that i wanted to what i want to do is to add some more generation frames based on the exact image that I created. So I want to go into the edit section. I want to go into add generation frame. And what I want to do is to choose the part where I want to add something more, for example, in here. And I want to, of course, track, I want to select a few elements of my image. So the actual computer is going to be understanding what is going to be left of the other part of the generation frame. So what you want to do is to add exactly the same prompt. In my case, I'm going to be using the same prompt because I want to add more elements in here. If you want to add Add more elements for example as you want to see uh, here an helicopter you want to see a plane you can add this later after that hit into generate and we're gonna be getting four different designs for example we have this one this one you choose the one that fits for example you choose this one and gonna hit into accept so now that we are into the editor here is the another creative thing that we can use in Dali number two and that is actual some 
adding elements. Now by adding some elements, what you can do is to exactly in the same example, if I go into the edit image, once again, let's see that I want to see an helicopter in here, or I want to see some birds, some doves flying into these painting. So I'm going to choose instead of choosing the uh, generation frame, I want to go into the pan. And what I want to do is to actually choose the eraser. And then I want to delete the parts where I want to see my new elements. So for example, I'm going to delete all of this like that. And I want to delete this as well. And I want to be asking for impressionist painting of dopes flying. After that, once again, I want to choose the elements the best fits for my drawing. Let's say, for example, this one, get into accept, and then we're actually good to go. Now, the next tool that I can give you is the variations. Now, into the variations, there's something that we've talked about before of this, but these variations will be helping you to add more, let's say, images, suggestion based and something that you just created. Whether you're using dial number two or you're using another application, you can import wherever imaged. And for that, I'm going to hit back. And here, what I want to do is to choose upload. And now into upload, what I'm going to be doing here is to add an image that I have created using another application, something else. So I'm going to hit into continue. And here I'm going to choose, let's say, for example, this guitar. I'm going to make this crop because I want this to be the main part of my image. And here what I want to do is to choose generate variations. So dialing number two is going to be generating similar images based on the one that I just added. And here are my variations of the image that I just upload. Now, you don't have to worry about, for example, if I hit into edit, if I zoom this a little, I'm going to be seeing that this guitar, it's a little bit weird, but you don't have to worry about that because what we can do inside dollar number two is to delete this element and edit that later. For example, I want to add a transparent guitar. And with that being said, we do have the collections. Now into the collections, what you can do is to add the most um, the most descriptive and the most amazing element that you have created into Dali number two. For example, this one that was impressionist painting of does flying in the sky. And what I want to do is to save this in a new collection. Let's say for example, that I want to add some painting like a portfolio of what I can do into Dali number two. And now that I have a lot of elements, a lot of stuff that I can show to the people, I can use these elements to later try to sell those or later try to uh, convince people to help them create more stuff with my techniques that I'm going to be using in Total Number 2, which this brings us into making money online. Now, if you know, if you have worked as a freelancer service, what you can do is to sell whatever service that you are doing, everything that you are, let's say, for example, good at into the internet and sell that later. Now, in places, for example, into Fiverr, now you can offer some AI services, some of those AI services, some talent, for example, to get most of artificial intelligence experts who know it the best. It's not that hard if you understand how the Zali number two works. So if you know how this application works, you can offer your own service so you can help other people to get started with the artificial intelligence images because not everyone Really, not everybody knows how to do what we are doing right now. And there's a lot of people who are struggling with the time. They don't have the time and they actually just don't want to do this. They just want people to do that for them. So that's why you want to get started into fiber and start to earn some money. Number eight is to have some fun. For example, now here, what I did is to import an image of a model that I have in here. So what I want to do is just to choose. Let's say that I want to choose the face. I want to change the hair. I want to change whatever I wanted. So I can do that here into the generator. So if I go into upload an image, I'm going to go into all my models. I'm going to choose one model, for example, the same one, crop and generate variations. I mean, it's not the same as my model, but as you can see, it's the same style that appears into the, my original image in which later we can talk about corrections. So this is something we were talking about before, but this is something that we can use just instead of you were using another application, another application where you're creating some artificial challenges design. So let's say for example, that I have this now new model and let's say that I'm gonna hit into crop, I'm gonna hit into the edit image. And what I want to do is to make my model look like a cyberpunk style. And here into the new prompt, I'm gonna ask for a cyberpunk masked and that, guys, is how you can get started with Dali number two. 
Now, I believe that you might be thinking that there are a few ideas popping out of your mind, so you can comment down below which can be another tool that you can use uh, for daily number two. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you don't want to see more great tools for daily number two. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully, this was very useful for you. So I will see you next video. Have lots of fun. See you soon.